Imagine if you had sunglasses and when you put them on, boom, you saw the world as if it was painted by Van Gogh. Today, that will be possible with neural style transfer. So what is neural style transfer and how does it work? So neural style transfer is taking a content image. For example, this image of Michael Jordan and combining it with a style image. For example, this image of Van Gogh's Starry Night painting combining those two images and creating a stylized image that looks like Michael Jordan in the style of Van Gogh's Starry Night painting. How do we accomplish this? So we have our three images, our input or content image, our style image, and our stylized image. We have some model that is iteratively optimizing our image over time to fit the look of our style image. So this is what the model looks like in more detail. So you'll notice that there are two loss outputs, content loss and style loss. So loss is the error essentially of our model, but more specifically, what is content loss? Content loss is the distance between the features of the base image and the features of the stylized image, keeping the generated image close to the original one. So we don't want to harm the contents of the original image. We just want to change the style. And this is where style loss comes in. Style loss is the difference in color and texture within the images. These two loss functions are how we implement the changes to the stylized images to optimize that image to make it as stylized as possible. So now let's look at how we can implement this in code. All right, so now that we're in the code, I created for you guys this uh, IPYNB file called Neural Style Transfer with TensorFlow Tutorial. The link will be down below. And this explains how to implement Neural Style Transfer easily within about 10 minutes with every section of the code having an explanation so you know exactly what each piece of code is doing. Let's go through that really quick. So here at the top, there's just a review of what we talked about before, what is neural style transfer, and then kind of an example with this Michael Jordan image and the Van Gogh painting, and we're gonna implement a similar uh, example. You'll see that in a minute, and then the final stylized painting right here. All right, so here we have the first section of the code where we're importing the libraries for neural style transfer, all the libraries necessary for displaying the images, for importing our model that we're going to use to create our stylized image, um, setting figure sizes, and just general other libraries like numpy, pil.image, time function tools, all libraries that will help us implement our code quickly and efficiently. Uh, the second section of the code is the image processing part of the code. Pre-processing is really important. How do we convert the image into a uh, format where we can manipulate it and turn it into a more stylized image? Here I read a little bit of an explanation about what is a tensor. Um, and a tensor is essentially a data structure, uh, a th in our case, a three-dimensional array of data that represents our image. The three dimensions are red, green, and blue, RGB, the colors of the image. And uh, we have functions here with the code that we wrote in TensorFlow uh, that converts a tensor to an image. And then later on in the code, we'll convert, convert image to tensor, as tensors are how uh, convolutional neural networks process images. Here we're importing, right here, we're actually importing the images that we're going to be using. You can use whatever images you want. Since we're in Google Colab, all you have to do is press this little upload file right here, the top left below files. You can upload two images and then just copy their paths by just hovering over and pressing copy path for each one and putting the 
content image as the content path and the style image as the style path. All right. And then finally, we have loading our images and our model and displaying them. We have two functions that do that our load image function and our I am show function. And these two functions help us load the image in a proper file format as explained within the comments and display the image in a way where we can see the content image, the style image, and then what happened to the final product over time. And so if we load in our content and style image, that's what it looks like, our picture of Michael Jordan and our style image, the Van Gogh painting. And then if we run our model with the following code, we use our model, apply it on the content image and the style image and output our final product. This is what we get, this beautiful image of Michael Jordan. You can kind of see the faces enhance, these circular patterns here, but I would say this is a pretty successful implementation of neural style transfer with TensorFlow. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more stuff about neural networks that generate art, I have a video that will be linked up above where you can check out a video about how I generated art with general adversarial networks. Now, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. Thanks for staying up until this point. Make sure to subscribe and like down below. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.